So over the last previous three weeks, Nehemiah has provided us with an opportunity for discipleship. Nehemiah in the first few verses identified a problem on the ground. In the next segment of verses, he began to confess sin, not only for the people that he served with, but also for himself, which then led him to a position of clarity to understand the uniqueness of the proximity and the access that God has given him. So now what? Well, bad stewardship, if we were to look back, would have Nehemiah tell himself that the work is simply too hard, or it's too far away, or it's too culturally different and unique, or maybe it's just too expensive. Well, Nehemiah, thankfully, ignores all of those lies and instead takes the problem, the confession, the access, and he readies himself for a major opportunity. See, the king that he is the cupbearer for asked him one day for what some in America would call the elevator speech. It's somewhat of a 30-second overview of what it is that you hope to accomplish. And after prayer, Nehemiah was ready. In Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 5 through 8, he makes a bold and direct ask of the king of whom he serves for a number of serious items. First, Nehemiah asks for the king's stamp of approval so he can travel to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls to bring solutions to the problems that Jerusalem is facing. Basically, he was asking the king, can I leave my post for a period of time? Second, in verse 7, Nehemiah asked boldly for diplomatic letters of free passage to be provided by the king so that other leaders would allow him safe passage to Jerusalem. You realize this is a major request putting the king's reputation on the line on behalf of this cupbearer. And finally, in verse 8, Nehemiah makes his boldest ask yet. It's basically an ask for monetary resources. See, Nehemiah asked the king to release a contribution of a major revenue producing resource, timber. That timber will then provide reinforcements for the new wall in Jerusalem, the new gates in Jerusalem, and new housing for the workers. This is fundamentally a direct ask for money because the timber represents money in the open market. And Nehemiah was not afraid to make that bold ask. As we continue to push towards HELP's vision, mission, and six core values, I want to make a bold ask of us. Will you work hard to understand your unique skill set and your unique gifting, how God has crafted and created you? And will you bring that skill to HELP's vision, no matter what your title is? Again, security guard, administrative assistant, board member, domain coordinator, it does not matter. What skill is it that God's given you? Consider this request as you begin specifically looking at how that can be used. It's now your opportunity to be ready to respond simply and boldly, just like Nehemiah did. So bring it, whatever skill set it is, whatever gifting you had, bring it. And let's work together to figure out where it can be leveraged to continue to push to our vision. Because when we leverage our skill set, it glorifies God because he is the one who created and deposited that skill set in us.